Hey everyone, this is a tutorial video for how to build a rhombicosa dodecahedron. The first thing you're going to need are 20 of these triangular pieces. And you make those by starting off with uh, two stacked rings of 15. And you pinch the top down into a triangle, just like that. And you need 20 of those. Then you also need 12 of these pentagonal subunits. And the way that you make those is you start off with a chain. Hold on a second. And you start making a pentagon. And you keep going around until the edges are six magnets long. And then for the row where the magnets will be, well, the, where the edges will be seven magnets long, you, full, you go around so that it's kind of reversed direction like that. And then you add one more row inside. So you end up with that. And then you can remove the middle. So you're left with that. And then finally, remove the five magnets out here at the corners. So you're left with one of those. And you need 12 of these. So now, to start building this thing, what you do is you take these, and you take these, and they attach together. I have the polarity backwards. So, just like that. And you can see that's how they attach together underneath. Just like that. And you can start off with two of these. And they'll join together just like that. And you can see that's kind of a square there. And you just keep going around in the same pattern. All of the triangles attached to pentagons and all the pentagons attached to triangles. One thing, when you start to assemble it, you'll notice that as you go, the triangles will kind of start to bend out of shape a little bit. And that's normal. That's just kind of how it works. And there you go. That is a rhombicosidodecahedron. And at this size, it's a little unstable. So the safest way to put it down is to where it's resting on one of the square surfaces. That is, seems to be the way that gives it the least likelihood of smashing when you set it down. So anyway, that's it. I guess I'll smash it.